it's Christy Cassie, ESL instructor and English tutor in New Westminster, BC, here with another English tip. Another common error I hear from my students is the difference between using adjectives ending in ing and adjectives ending in ed. I hear a lot of people say, teacher, I'm boring. And I say to them, no, you're not boring. You're a very interesting person. And what they mean, or what they want to say, is maybe, teacher, I'm bored, meaning this activity is not very interesting. So when do you use adjectives ending in ed, and when do you use those ending in ing? ed is when you're talking about emotions and feelings, something you feel or something another person feels. So for example, today I am tired, because I didn't sleep last night. Or, my friend is frustrated because her bus was late. She's not very happy, she's frustrated. If you are talking about um, a description or an experience, use ing. So, when the bus is late, it is very frustrating, ing, because you're talking, you're describing the experience of waiting for the bus and the bus is late. So it's frustrating. Um, another example, Vancouver is a very interesting place. You're describing Vancouver, what kind of place is it? So you use ing. So there's another quick tip. For more English tips, you can visit my website, www.christyk.ca. K-R-I-S-T-Y-K dot C-A. Yes, I like my name. Love my name, Christy Cassie. Um, please contact me if I can help you improve your English. I would love to do that. And cheers for now.